What's up people? So a bunch of you asked me how I made this picture. So I put this video tutorial together to show you all the steps. Firstly, this is a photography trick called multiplicity. It basically means you take a picture of an object a bunch of times in the same frame and then move the object around in that frame. The first thing you're gonna need is a camera or a phone. The second is a tripod or anything you can mount your camera onto to keep it perfectly still. When taking the pictures, try not to move the camera. It would be best to use a soft timer so you don't move the camera when pressing the capture button. Some cameras also have a cool feature where you can actually capture the picture with your phone. Okay, now to get down to editing. So first thing you gotta do is download a program called Paint.net. Link is in the description below. So, I'll just get started here. Open up my Paint.net. Just click one, drag and drop it, press open, and then pick the rest of them, and click add layers. And there you got them all. Set. So just deselect it right there. And what you're gonna wanna do is start with the, with the one with the most shadows. Because you don't really wanna remove the shadows. And with me, this is it right here. This little part, there's a bunch of shadows in there. So, let's check. So first thing you gotta do is put this one. You gotta pick this as your background, the one with the shadow. It's gotta be your background. So, you bring it down all the way down here and you pick your next one you gotta just press this little tick here and then click the image take the eraser and make it a little bit bigger probably ah, 100 is pretty good and then you can just erase the rest of the pic the rest of the picture right here I'm gonna continue this process for the rest. I'm gonna just click the image and then click the little tick. And then from that, just pick the eraser, take it to about 100. Try not to erase the shadows. So let's erase right about there. pretty good Save as I'm just gonna save it to my desktop. And just click this. You can save both of them, the paint.net, so you can come back to it. And I think it's PDN, that's what they call it. And then uh, JPEG file. So I'm gonna save. Press OK, flatten it, and it will save it. Okay, now for the next one. This little trick, I actually want the shadow to be there without the body what you have to do is you just have to take off your shoes very strategically you gotta you know slip out of them without trying to move them I'm gonna use this one for the bottom shadow right here and then this one for the top basically you just have to use the razors you don't have to use anything else like 100 just this and boom you're done color is just completely different than any other it's like much brighter so I'm gonna have to cut myself out so what I'm gonna use is a magic wand Get my face and to change it up 
all you gotta do is change the tolerance. So let's say 35. This is a pretty good number. So I'm just gonna take this little ellipse or something. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click control and then drag it and just continue selecting the unselected parts. Right there, right there. Oops. Okay now for these mistakes right here, right? What we're gonna do here is just gonna press Ctrl I. So now that my selection is inverted, I'm just gonna go ahead and select the parts that I don't actually want. Right. The parts I don't want are selected. I'll just press delete and they gone and my picture is complete. That's one of them. You can make them more if you like. You can go all crazy with it if you really have time for that. So that's all from me. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe and see you in the next one. Peace.